everyone, my name's Allie, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you guys how my banana pepper plants are growing. I'm growing both a hot and a sweet banana pepper in my container garden this year, and I'm going to share a few tips on how to successfully grow these in containers. So let's go ahead and get started. So I started my banana peppers from seed this year indoors around March, just showing you guys here the little transplant. I put both my banana peppers outside in May, and they've been growing really well this year. When you're growing banana peppers in containers, you wanna use a pot that is at least 18 inches in diameter and at least 12 inches deep so you have plenty of root space for your banana peppers to grow. The plants don't get very tall, they grow about 18 to 24 inches in height and they do like a temperature of 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're in Canada like me, that is 16 to 32 degrees Celsius. Anything over this temperature will cause blossom drop, and this did happen to me on a few hot days, so you may lose a few of your blossoms if it's too hot. Try to move your plant into a shaded area during those times, or cover it with some shade cloth to prevent the blossoms from dropping. I still have quite a few peppers growing on my plant, so I didn't lose a lot of blossoms, but it can happen very easily when the temperature is just too hot. My peppers grew really fast this year. It has been really hot, lots of sunshine, but also lots of rain, which has kept my plants looking really green and lush like this. I do fertilize my pepper plants regularly as peppers are heavy feeders, and I use an organic slow-release fertilizer on all of my plants. Feel free to use any type of fertilizer that you like. Banana peppers like at least six hours of sunshine in order to thrive and do really well, so make sure you put it in a sunny spot outside so just checking out my plants here, it won't be long until I am able to harvest these. I am so excited. Like I said, this one here is sweet and the one next to it is the hot banana pepper. I want to pickle some of my banana peppers or also use them in different recipes like homemade stir fries or pasta dishes, tons of options there. I'm really curious to do a taste test between the two peppers and also to let them ripen to a different color. Some will turn a red or an orange color if you leave them in the sun. So stay tuned on my channel for a harvest video that will be coming. I'm going to do a full harvest of my garden and show you guys just what I have growing for August. So make sure to stay tuned on my channel for that and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Harvest videos are my favorite because it's so fun to see how much stuff has grown over the last few months. Make sure to have a regular watering schedule for your banana peppers. Never let the soil dry out. You can mulch around yours or make sure to set some timers for yourself throughout the day so you can check on them. Some days when it's really hot, I do have to water my plants twice. Remember that these are planted in containers and not the ground, so it does dry out faster. And when you're having a container garden, watering, I would say, is one of the most important parts. If you want more tips or more information on growing banana peppers, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next one.